Atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia in the adults. The two treatment strategies are those of rhythm control and rate control. Patients with atrial fibrillation are at a high risk of developing strokes and clots going somewhere in the body. As far as stroke prevention, there are two major developments in recent years. One of them is the development of new anticoagulation agents. Those are the direct thrombin inhibitors, as well as the direct uh, factor 10A inhibitors. So for patients who cannot take blood thinners because of a high risk of bleeding, Closing the left atrial appendage, which is a little pouch in the left upper chamber of the heart where most of the clots form in patients with atrial fibrillation is the treatment to reduce the risk of stroke. There are new techniques for doing it minimally invasively. Uh, those uh, do not require surgery. One technique goes on the outside of the heart. It's the lariat system that closes the, the appendage uh, without uh, the need for uh, open heart surgery. Uh, there is uh, a uh, yet to be approved FDA catheter-based tool uh, that is being investigated at the University of Pittsburgh. Rhythm control is typically uh, achieved by restoring normal sinus rhythm with a cardioversion like a shock to the chest and then maintaining normal sinus rhythm with a medication. When the medications don't work, uh, the patient will require uh, uh, an ablation procedure. Traditionally, we've done that with heating the tissue, radiofrequency applications, but more recently and available at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, there is the cryo-balloon ablation, which uses the freezing technique. The traditional way of controlling the rate is to put the patient on medications that slow down the rate of the bottom chambers of the heart. When this fails, an ablation of the AV node, which is the electrical connection between the upper and the bottom chambers of the heart, is what is used, and that would require implanting a pacemaker. Most recently, there have been leadless pacemakers available. Those are little pacemakers that are delivered through a catheter from the groin, and they are uh, installed within the heart. They are the size of a tiny bullet that gets implanted and fixed to the heart on the inside. Traditionally, we've monitored patients through external monitors or implantable monitors that last for a longer period of time. The most important advance recently is the miniaturization of this implantable loop recorder to the point that it does not require any further surgical implantations, but is rather an injectable device under the skin that takes less than a minute to inject, and it could be done in the outpatient clinic. The most uh, important thing for physicians to know about atrial fibrillation is that although it continues to be a very common and and very prominent uh, problem for the adult population from the arrhythmic, arrhythmic perspective. Uh, there are many new tools and advances for the ablation, for the stroke prevention, as well as for the monitoring, which will give them as physicians treating those patients many more options moving forward.